Okay, we're going to make it a whole new website. It's currently 2.44 p.m. I'm going to write that down. I probably should get one of those little online clock things, but uh, <clears throat> I'm not that technically oriented. So, in other words, it is really cool what I'm about to make because, uh, uh, again, I'm not that technically oriented. Now, if you want to make a ton of websites all at one time, you can put all this stuff in a CSV template, and this thing can make a hundred websites for you all at one time. But I'm just going to make one, and I'm going to make it for this company, which is not one of my uh, current clients, Savannah Tire Company. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I have done some preparatory work. Specifically, I downloaded their logo and I resized it so so that it was 200 pixels across. I Flipped through the website, found a few graphics that we're going to use for a slider. I found some um, text, you know, just to help brand the business, etc., etc. And I put all of that in a file here. Oh, I've got a, a coupon text too. Put all that in a file here and in a text file there. So that took me 10 minutes, okay, to just get that okay so so there's 10 minutes okay so I've got all my graphics all my copy and all that stuff ready to go I think I've got the address got the address ready to go etc etc and we're gonna make a website so we say add new and I'm just gonna call it Savannah Tire and yes, if you're wondering, I have done this before, but I did it slightly differently. These are four different templates that you can choose from. I'm going to choose this one because I can choose the red one, and it will harmonize with their site. Let's put these pages on. You can add more pages if you want. I'm not really too worried about that. <clears throat> there are tons and tons of cool features of this website platform like being able to turn the website on and off, etc., etc. So add that. Now we're ready to go. I like for my home page and my navigation to be up above everything. <clears throat> that works. Let's put Fandus up here. Oh, you hear my beautiful, wonderful dog? Now we're going to go to the home page and we're going to add some stuff. So what would you want on the home page? Maybe, maybe like a logo? And uh, in the body, we'll put some navigation and a slider. And in the foot, we're going to put the, um, the address and a tap to call. Okay. Let's get the body going here. So these are the tools that we can slide over to here. It works like uh, a widget editor on, in WordPress navigation list. Let's <laughs> put that up there. I guess my dog doesn't know that I'm making a super important video and uh, let's get um, images let's get our slider pop that up here <clears throat> now we're gonna go to upload images and we're gonna upload some images to the slider and this works just like inside WordPress matter of fact this is inside WordPress right this is a different site, so we're going to go to Savannah Tire Graphics. And I think that they were these three. Let's pop the showroom in there. We're going to insert that image. Save that. Let's upload another one. <clears throat> And we're going to get the, uh, not the target coupon, the measure rotor, which is another picture that I found. We're going to insert that. Save them. And let's get that third image. I had a third one here. Targon. Yeah, I think uh, that would be a good one. So they've already got these on their website, so it's cool that uh, you put this on their mobile site, right? Okay, so we've got our slider, we've got our um, uh, navigation. 
We're going to go to the footer here and let's get um, a text block and let's just slide that over here. <coughs> See how that opens up? And I'm going to get just this. Makes total sense to me to put that in the footer of a mobile website. Pop that in there again. It works just like WordPress. Save that. Close that. What else would you want in there? Maybe a tap to call. So let's go contact, tap to call link. You can do images if you want. Oops, call today. <clears throat> That's their phone number. So pop that in there. Save that. So now we've got the footer and the body done. Now the header and the footer populate throughout all the pages on the site. The body does not. So we will see the same header and footer on all the pages. And I'll, this is uploaded, so you can check this out on your phone. So let's see what this looks like. So if you go preview site, you'll see this. Now this looks huge because this is a responsive uh, template. It's sized according to the thing that you're looking at it on. Um, I'm looking at it on my computer, so it stretches way out to uh, look on my computer on a phone or a tablet or something that will size for that. But you can see all this stuff, address. Th this is the uh, call today button. So that's where we've got so far. We're going to need a header up here. So you do the image the same way. I went ahead and did this because um, um, it didn't take me two seconds, but uh, I had several image, possible images to choose from. But anyway, upload, then you get to the same upload screen. You can say, you know, center it, uh, right, left, justify, and center. Save that. Close all these. And if we look on our preview, you're again, you're going to see the image really small because it's a fixed width. In other words, it doesn't resize, but that's going to be about right for a phone. That's 200 uh, pixels across. Uh, you may want to play around with that. Okay, so I'm feeling pretty good about our home page. Let's do the Find Us. Now, to, for the Find Us part, we need a an address. So we get that. Okay. And notice the uh, head and the foot are the same. On the find us, we're going to go with map with directions, which is really cool the way that works and looks really super on a smartphone. Pop that in there. Notice that has location. So if I click into location, I get this uh, box that shows up. I'm going to put that address that I'd highlighted inside here. We're going to say find that. Indeed that is right in the middle of Savannah, Georgia. This is the place. Turns it into latitude and longitude. I'm going to save that. So now I am done with the uh, find us page. Let's get the about page. <coughs> On the About page, basically all I need is a text block. When I find testimonials on a client's site, uh, it is cool to use those also. Okay, let's open that up and let's get our text. And I just found this on their website. Pop that in there. That's good enough for an About Us page. So save that, close that. If I remember correctly, Savannah Tire had some cool videos, and I want to show you how this works. So I'm going to stop the recording just a second, run over to YouTube, and see if I can snag one of their videos. 
Okay, I found this video by Savannah Tyre. It's all about shocks and struts. What could be better, right? So I'm going to take that and we're going to, on the About page, let's put a video in just under here. When you open that, you can pull videos from Vimeo or YouTube. I found this on YouTube. Now the video ID is, I'll show you what part that is. Well, it's the last part of this. Here we go. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. That would look really sweet to somebody buying buying a mobile website from, from you or from uh, one of your customers. Contact. Let's come over here to contact. Contact form. Contact form needs an email address. Uh, obviously, I'm just, again, this is not a client of mine for obvious reasons. But um, <clears throat> an email address, some subject like, you know, from the mobile site. And a lot of businesses like to have all their emails from various places funneled, funneled to one employee. So we're going to put uh, just a name there. And that, that's the name of someone that I don't know. Okay, I just pulled that out of my hat. We're going to save that. Okay, so we saved that. And we're going to close that. Now, you can put more stuff. I mean, we've got coupons, we've got all kinds, you know, social um, social um, integration, Facebook, Twitter, etc. But this is a nice basic mobile website. Let's look at this on the preview and see what it looks like. And now again, it's spread out really wide because I'm looking at this on a computer. But uh, notice the Find Us. It wants to know my location so that it will give you driving directions from wherever your phone happens to be when you hit that my location to to wherever this is. Um, <clears throat> the about. And we had our little blurb about the company, and then we pulled this YouTube video. Okay, so we got that. And then we've got contact, name, capture, whole nine yards. Now, so far, building the site has taken me 18 minutes and 47 seconds. Excuse me, not 18. 13 minutes and 52 seconds as of this moment. 13 minutes, 52 seconds. And that's with talking and just kind of playing around. Okay? In other words, it's fast. Okay, now one more quick thing. I want to show you how we actually get the site onto the client's site. Hit export. Now you're going to put a folder name in here and the URL of the client's site. I'm using that as just a place to put these uh, little sites that we're uh, previewing for, you know, for people to preview for, for various reasons. And I'll put a folder name in here. and they hit export. Now what's happening, you're going to get a zip file and within that zip file is everything that you need to put on the uh, in that folder and also the mobile redirect code that you would put on the head of the client site and, and the header part of the client site just before the ending head tag. You have to do that one time. After you do that, you can change everything on the client site without ever touching their site again way cool. Okay? That took another one minute and eight seconds.